on. Lights on. What's tonight? SummerSlam. Summerfest. I thought it was SummerSlam. <sighs> Jeremy Piven. Jer Jeremy Piven says Summerfest. Well, it's summer. I don't know these matches. So I'm looking it up on my Nito phone. Do you want to play with my Nito phone? No. Okay. Show off. I'm not showing off. Here we go. Dolph Ziggler. Damn, he's a champion? Kofi lost to Dolph Ziggler. It's no, he didn't. Dolph Ziggler champion versus Kofi Kingston. Well, it was a fluke. Who's going to win? Oh, it's them again? Yeah. Back for the... What champ? Oh. The, I don't, the Intercontinental title. Uh, Kofi, of course. <sighs> and that's all I'm saying. I need to find somewhere to put my poster up. Which poster? Show the poster. Like Get it? Nope. Get it? I'll show this Kofi trophy. That's not funny. What? Kofi trophy? Yeah. <laughs> that rhymes. Whoa. Yeah. Look at this poster. People need to turn their volume down after that. They don't care. Oh, you know. Yeah. Oh. You should hold it with both hands. I'm trying. Do we watch that pay-per-view? I see it now. I don't even know what the poster says. I was looking at Kofi. It says Money in the Bank. Yeah, we did. I ordered that pay-per-view. Mm -hmm. mm. Neat. I see it. Go get your autograph while you're at it. Is that real? That's what they tell me. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I spend money for, too. It better be real. Mm. Well, do you vote for Dolph Ziggler? Whether you like Kofi or not? I'm hoping for a so. run-in from somebody. You follow him on Hopefully Twitter. Christian wins. I follow Kofi as well. Yeah, but you follow Dolph Ziggler. He's kind of funny. I no, should unfollow him. I just looking. The only reason I followed him because he was making fun of Brian Danielson. I thought well, it was kind of funny. Is. Alicia Fox versus... Oh, Melina came back. That's right. Who's that? Melina, the chick Well, she's probably going to win then. Oh, the one who messed up that one time? Did you see that? No, you told me about it and it was funny. Yeah. Yeah, I go for her then. Just because she came back. Cool. The Big Show versus CM Punk, Joy Mercury, and Luke Gallows. The Straight Edge Society. It's three on one. Three, yeah, I was going to ask that. I go for the Big Show. They would probably win. CM Punk, I think Duh, he has a broke but... arm. No. Well, I don't, I don't know. Because they're all going to gang up on him. Alright. Uh, Kane versus Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio. Kane's the champion. So? What's that mean? I think Undertaker is going to show up. Because they showed him on the website. When he dead, you said? Something like that. Sheamus versus Randy Orton for the title. Sheamus is one. Hold on. This is some, apparently some stipulation. If anyone interferes in the match, they will be suspended indefinitely. If Randy Orton loses, he cannot get a rematch, thank God. Who wins? Sheamus. Good job. Because I don't want to see Randy Orton as champion. Well, I don't want to see either of them, actually. And then the big... Is Edge going to be in here? The big shebang. The Nexus, which is Wade Barrett, David Otunga, J Justin okay, Gabriel, Heath Slater, guys, and other jobbers versus Team WWE, which is Cena, Morrison, Truth, Bret Hart, <laughs> Edge, Chris Jericho, and someone to be named later. Okay, well, I'll go for Edge, even though it's a part of the whole group, but... Who's going to be the to be named later? Like, who's going to show up? We're going to have to take an intermission. Why? Because I don't, I can't think of anybody off the top of my head. I just say Triple H. Even oh, yeah, I forgot about him. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Sucks. All right. What about uh, what about uh, Mark Henry? YouTube world back at it once again. It's instant classic eight on the road on the way back home. Um, just finished up SummerSlam. Went out to go watch it, and um. You know, I can't say I, I had high hopes for this show. I really didn't. More of the main event, more than anything, but still, I didn't have, like, you know, like, oh, my God, it's going to be a great show. Honestly, it wasn't all that great of a show. Um, just run down a few quick things. Uh, the opener with, um, who was it? Kofi Kingston and Drew, not Drew McIntyre, uh, Dolph Ziggler. Um... It's a standard SmackDown match. Nexus interfered, which I thought was cool. I thought they were going to 
you know, with them, we were at a bar, so, you know, we really couldn't hear any of the promos or anything, but it kind of looked like they were going to, you know, because WWE was down a man in their match, and it kind of seemed like, you know, Nexus weren't going to take any chances, they were going to take everyone out, you know, everyone in the WWE out, didn't happen, but, you know, I thought the concept was, could have been cool, but they took them out, the match, nothing happened, oh well, uh, the Divas match, went to the bathroom, uh, Molina ended up winning, she cried, and then she did some interview, and Lay Cool came out and beat her down, and it seemed kind of pointless to me, who cares, uh, you had, uh, Big Show versus Straight Edge Society, um, it was an okay match, um, they did what they could, I mean, even with three guys against one, they still did what they could, and like I said, it was okay, nothing special, um, Big Show ended up getting the win. I don't know how. Well, I know he got the win. Um, uh, you had Orton versus Sheamus, which I thought it was better than the Wrestle not the WrestleMania match. It was better than the Royal Rumble match, but even with that, it still wasn't all that. I mean, like the last four or five minutes were pretty good when they were, you know, teasing finishers, kicking out and stuff. It was pretty good. Um, Sheamus ended up getting DQ, so he keep Randy Orton wins, but he keeps the title. Um, don't have a problem with that. I'm sick of Randy Orton getting title shots and winning titles. It's just, you know, it's enough. Enough is enough already. Um, you had Mysterio and Kane uh, for the title. This is honestly, I, did, I enjoyed this match. You know, I'm not saying it was great. It really, it was barely good, but I enjoyed it. Um, honest to God, I didn't know it was this a casket match. Uh, someone filmed me in, I did not know, anyway, they did the whole thing, where they opened the casket, no one's in there, um, Ray tried for the 619, like a million times, um, and didn't get it, um, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, cop was there, but, um, yeah, tried the 619 a million times, didn't get it, finally got it, um, got put into a, a choke slam like a couple times, like like three or four times. Like I said, you saw the casket was open, no one was in there. They did the whole thing where they closed the casket, and of course, someone's gonna be in there, and everyone knew it was Undertaker. They were just waiting for it. Casket opens, Undertaker's out there, teasing that he's gonna attack Ray, but we all knew the quick head turn was coming and he was gonna attack Kane. Uh, but surprisingly, Kane hit the tombstone on Undertaker. That came out of nowhere, so wow, that's, that's something different. In the main event, Nexus versus uh, Team WWE. All the guys came down there. Of course, Cena has a new shirt. Summer sometime, you gotta get a new shirt. Um, all the guys come down there. Then the Miz shows up. Says, you know, seventh member as far what I can take from it. Seventh member coming out. It's gonna be Daniel Bryan. The crowd goes crazy. The people in Hooters went crazy. Um, so yeah, Daniel Bryan gets in there. Uh, guy, he takes out like the first two Nexus guys in like three minutes. It was crazy. Then everyone started dropping like flies, one by one, Truth and Morrison and, and Skip Sheffield and all, all, all the, 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 the geeks, you know, they started getting taken out. Anyway, it came down to, I want to say, uh, who the hell was it? Uh, Justin Gabriel, Wade Barrett, and uh, uh, what's the funny hair guy? Whatever his name, Christian's boy, against Cena and uh, Daniel Bryan. Um, Daniel Bryan ended up getting the craziest looking. I guess you can call it a cross face, but you know the way he had his arm was like, whoa. Anyway, I marked out hard for that. He got back. Miz came and hit uh, Daniel Bryan in the back of the head with a, a briefcase, which was cool, and it took him out. Anyway, Cena ended up being Superman, turning on the Superman powers and taking out all the rest of the members of Nexus. Nothing else happened after that. I thought Bret Hart did pretty decent for you know how old and how stiff he is. Everyone worked hard. It was a good match. I enjoyed it. Cena's, they're just showing that Cena is the, the most dominant force ever in the history of anything. And, you know, what can you do with Cena? Anyway, like I said, SummerSlam was, eh. I liked the main event, but everything else was like, ah. I know some people were excited that SummerSlam is going to be in LA again. Y'all can have that, because the last three SummerSlams have just been like, pfft, no one cares. But anyway, um... Uh, We'll see, you know, we'll see what WWE goes from here. Until then, I am Instant Classic 8. I need to go home. Just when I thought I couldn't get enough Brian Danielson tonight. This is so awesome right here. There we go.
go on Twitter and who is the number one trending topic Brian Danielson how awesome is that oh, I'm so happy to have him back even if it is the WWE